and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this one later on for some Abzan enchantments. That's right, we have a donation deck here where we are putting together like the Golgari and Selesnya enchantment decks into one, and we got a spicy one at the top end with Ethereal Absolution being our enchantment at the top end. This will be an interesting one to try out. Even that ability on Ethereal Absolution, the four mana exile a card from a graveyard, seems like it's going to be a pretty useful ability with all these um, cards that have... Uh, uh, not explore, but um, uh, oh man, I just blanked on the name of it. Escape. There we go. I, I could only think of like explore, escape. Had it. Yeah. So all these cards with escape, trying to keep them from escape in the graveyard, we get some exile. But anyway, um, yeah, lots of enchantments. We have some engine cards with uh, Centessian Champion, of course, being the most important. Nessian Wander helping us hit lots of land drops. Hateful Idol on it, drawing some cards. Now, we only have six auras for Hate Phylon. We got two Deadweight, four Myers Grasp, so we don't have a lot there. But still, Hateful Eidolon is just a one-mana enchantment to trigger Wander at Centessian Champion and Archon, like where we can double spell, you know, for four mana, play a champion, then play a Hateful Eidolon. So it's still pretty useful, um, but then, you know, has the high upside of drawing multiple cards. Um, let's see. Uh, there's only 24 land. You know, not not a lot of land, but the Nessian Wander should help us hit land drops still. Um, so that's that's what our decks that's what our deck has. That's what it's all about. All right, uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. Also, with our, our lands, we're tr we're going to be trying the No Temple, trying all the shock lands, of course, and then uh, a decent amount of basics with Fable Passage, where we can find what we need. Um, and so hopefully we're not like just playing a whole bunch of tap lands that we can help us curve out and you know, like wander because like whenever you have like dryad in play all your lands tap for anything uh, you know wander gets you like your extra land so our mana should be okay we have a couple of double stuff you know we have just a couple of double whites and one double black card you know like our, our mana seems like it, it's probably not too bad so we're not going to be throwing like tons and tons of temples in the deck where we where we can't uh, maximize our turns. So let's give it a try. So we're going to play it through a league, the being donation deck, till we win five or lose two, whatever happens first. Then after this, we got 5-0 Friday. I picked out three uh, recent 5-0 lists from Magic Online that look interesting to play, um, including Esper Control, which I know a lot of people have been wanting me to play an Esper Control deck and looked like a, a good list. So we'll see how uh, those decks do over in Ranked. That's what the R stand for. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, there's just one Calyx in here. Um, yeah, I, I love Calyx. I, I kind of wish we had more Calyxes. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it does with just the one. We can't have, um, you know, tons and tons of things that cost four mana. Even though I would like there to be. Um, good question, Trojan Rage. Probably... And hmm, I want the token to be. Maybe a Johnny's Pride Mate token. You know, like the the that the four mana Johnny can minus and make. Be a pride mate. Yeah, so the question was, what what token would I want to be if I could be a token? So, so Tessin Champion is a good draw. Um, there's not really cat tokens in standard. If I want to have like a... 
token to commemorate Hawkeye. I guess it's better to play Dryad than Wolf Willow Haven. It may be possible that I get to play both Dryad and Wolf Willow Haven. Well, thanks, Trojan Rage. if we get another land from the Wanderer, then we can play the extra land because of the Dryad. Destroying that, not the champion. I guess, yeah, I guess if I would have played, let's see, four mana to Wolf Willow first. Yeah, I guess I would have played both if I would have played Wolf Willow first anyway. Right. And then wouldn't have had a shock. Right. So I'm activating Arden Vale. But I could have could have activated spinner and made a 3-3. Hmm. Maybe it's better to trade lands. Paradise Druid just hasn't done anything yet. No attacking, no blocking, no make a mana. Draw a card. Get another basic out. Hey, Gaysons, good afternoon.
Oh no, Changalinga. Cell battery is only at 10%. It's not, it's not enough. Well, Voracious Hydra also is CMC2 on the battlefield, so we don't get to get rid of it with Elspeth Conqueror's death. I could cast all Spoth Conqueror's Death just to draw two cards. And then get it. Get it going. Nah. Boo. And also a CMC2. So deal with these seven and eight mana cards that have CMC2. Hey Bam Llama. Happy Friday. Uh one mana short. Playing Archon and playing Elspeth Conquer's Death. Definitely wish I would have just played the Elspeth Conqueror's Death the previous turn for, you know, drawing, like, Archon, Absolution, you know, expensive cards like that. That's okay. We need Banishing Light. There's four Banishing Lights in here. I haven't seen any yet. That's why I need to get rid of these things. And those are these are very good cards to banishing light as well. So it can't be countered because of Destiny Spinner. Elspeth conquers death. Their spells cost two more to cast, even if they want to play stuff. But yeah, now we get to attack in with these, with like these large creatures. All right, good job, Absolution. Um, so obviously, this seems like a, a noxious grasp matchup. Yeah, I'm not sure what they what they were planning to do with that mana. I'm not sure. Cuz the, yeah, they didn't didn't play as big of a crisis as they could have and sh and then shocked also afterwards. So I think we want grasp and remorse. And I think like deadweight Meyer deadweight and Myers grasp. I'm not as big a fan of. I don't know. Ethereal Absolution probably isn't going to be as good as it just was there. Hey, Aki. Good evening. 
Hey, Rex. All right, so like, what if we go with this? Could play a Shatter the Sky. Could play more Destiny Spinner. I'm not really expecting them to have too much counter magic, though. We'll go another Spinner over a Grasp. Play to spark. More ways to get Nissa out of there. Let's try this. <laughs> it's not morning where you live, Rex. I'm expecting them to be playing Casualties of War. You know, like, I think they're probably a 4x Casualties of War deck, honestly. And so, like, that's the card that I'm pretty worried about. I brought in the ag Agonizing Remorses to try to protect against that, but there's not a whole lot else to do about that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really expecting counter magic, but spinner is just a pretty decent threat on its own. lands out of the deck. Then the deck. Then the deck. Alright. We'll keep then in the deck. Okay, there you go. Not bad, Call. Good job. <clears throat> and let's keep keep thinning. Basically, just took that planes down. You know, like we knew the bottom two cards were going to be planes and the four mana um, enchantment. And we just took the, basically took the planes down from the bottom of the library and shuffled that four man enchantment back in. Uh oh. Stay on the trail. That's gonna be a tough card to beat. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's only nine more lands left in the deck. So hopefully our draw steps are not lands anymore. And, you know, like we maybe grab a land or two from like the Nessian Wanderer, but hopefully we don't actually get any more regular lands. I will protect the virtue of this world. Why'd they blow up planes? Why would they not blow up Castle Lock Twain? Harness the elements. Why would they blow up planes? There's casualties that I said I was going to be worried about. Too late, Remorse. Too late. I need you before they start playing Garrick and Casualties of War. Alright, get an Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Get another one of those in here. <laughs> yeah, Demer Ramp does have a lot of mythics. Yeah, but let me let me know how it goes though. You get to get to play it for F and M tonight? Let me know how it goes. No, Shepard's good. I mean, it dies to removal. I mean, it's a creature, but it's a good card. This will do. Let's go ahead and Fable Passage for Forest, turn one. I guess that means I have to shock for Godless Shrine for turn two. Yeah, I, I still think that's probably worth it. Yeah, closing went all smoothly. smoothly. Yep. Everything is done. I am now a new house owner. Oh, I have to put something back? I like all these cards. I guess the Haven, I guess. Uh, the Grasp? Like, this isn't really hitting stuff in their deck besides, like, Paradise Druid. I ba my curve basically ends at four. As far as Haven goes. Yeah. yeah, all that hard work paid off. It's a, it's a pretty far move. It's about 16 hours or so. It'll take me a couple of days. Alright, Remorse.
It's a pretty land of light hand over there. If I do say so myself. Resolve. Wow. Do let that resolve. It's shocking. Ah, should have got grab swamp. Should have killed the Sithesa champion. I should have killed Sithesa champion. Thanks, JJ. Thanks for the cheers. Wanna know? Our champion led us to victory. Thanks, JJ. Uh, no, Candice, it's the, the week after that. It's like the 11th through 13th. That I'm planning on moving. Play on a desk, yeah, a desktop computer. Let's just get a white source out in case I need one. No, I didn't. No, this is my normal song playlist I always use. We can cast. Zero absolution next turn if we want. Turn four absolution. If they don't kill the dryad. But I probably want to play the Archon first. Ooh. I don't know. Now I kind of want to play the absolution. We'll probably find more enchantments for Archon. Yeah, Chandra Tribal uh, probably has, probably can kind of change a little, like Tectonic Giant, um, Torbran, uh, Storm's Wrath, even though it takes out your. Your stuff. 
uh, your planeswalkers is probably something you want in there. <laughs> I do not have, no, I did not buy, buy a, a ranch house with many horses. I did not. have a negative one three you can't actually be a negative one right and still just be like a zero three I guess I guess it's a negative one three Shepherd is our protection against a wrath well that was fast so their Orzov enchantment stuff they got the little two one birth of Miletus So we want our Heliod's Intervention, Return to Nature. Hmm. Want Agonizing Remorse again. Let's try this. Yeah, they have it as negative one three to remind you that if you give it plus one plus zero, it's still a O three. Yeah. You think negative attack should should have the other person gain life? Say more. We got all of our three mana enchant like three mana cards and three lands. Not the best for double spelling purposes. I guess we keep throwing out these things. So they're gonna Oath of Kaya the Dryad. But I am all for that. I I want this I want the Dryad to die, not these things. We got another Oath of Kaya out of their hand, I'm all for that. Finally, land. Uh, 
Oh, deck master? I didn't I didn't start deck master. Sorry, my bad. They've had a lot more lands, so they don't have that many cards left. Hey, Fintech. Boo. All right, so we just got to play around Kai's Wrath. Oh, that's gonna gonna likely win the game for my opponent. That's pretty big time. That castle. What do you what do you mean frost frost rich? What do you mean? I'm not, you know, like, I'm not a part of, like, the Deckmaster company. I can't update Deckmaster. Karuker. Thanks, Karuker. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Uh, that's our second sub of the day. Yeah, it's Castle Lock Twain. attack with everything except for nothing except for all of them
Yeah, I don't think they're casting that Kai's Wrath. I agree. Destroying the enchantment creature just isn't... I don't think it's as valuable. Honestly. Um... So it's either get back Archon or get back Satessan Champion. I wouldn't mind them casting Kaya's Wrath, though, with me having Nightmare Shepherd in play. So I like incentivizing them, too. Make sure we just do this in the right order. All right, well, double Kai's Wrath is rough. And we draw three lands. <clears throat> I can't really activate Castle Lock Twain with, you know, still having two cards in hand. Yeah, their they're Lock Twain just won them this game. Because they have all the life they get to continually activate. <laughs> Come on. How are we still drawing lands?
So I really don't want to sacrifice this banishing line and have and take another three damage, even though I, I could have, and then it would have got rid of that. You know, like they would have only had one Othakaya left, but it's just so risky because you know, like the the Doom foretold if that goes off. Oh, did I just not make a creature? Whoops. Whoops. I was busy talking about why I don't want to sack this Banishing Light. And did not make a creature. Um, so yeah, let's get rid of these banishing lights. Uh, yeah. I have to do exclamation point deck list. That's the deck list right there. This song is Ignite by K-319. Sorry, 391. Hey Joe, it's going good. Oh, land! Yay, land! Not a land. Like if they play Doom Foretold, it gets rid of like my Wanderer, but boo. That hurts. I was planning on probably Myers grasping my Setessen champion the next turn. 
I guess it would would have killed it before it would put the counter on it though. So I guess that would not have worked very well. So they're probably going to Elspeth Conquers Death, my Archon, and then I'll Elspeth Conquers Death, their Elspeth Conquers Death. Denton, the base of the Dallas Metroplex. Yeah. Yeah, Den has a really nice town square. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to live there. On their side, Meyer's Grasp is basically just killing uh, the Ephemia. That's still an important card to kill. I think it's worth, you know, I want to just keep thin in the, the library, but I think it's worth um, playing this Destiny Spinner, even though, you know, like, we are just continually playing more stuff for a Wrath, but, you know, like, we're basically turning the Spinner into a, a Divination. Like, I think that's worth it. We don't need to play the Wanderer. Oh, you live in McKinney, Deterio? Cool. McKinney's basically next door. G 
GG. All right, two and zero. Oh. We outlasted the other enchantment deck. The Doom Foretold enchantment deck. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of dead weights in here also. And and Myers Grasps. All right, well, we got creatures with a lot of toughness. I guess I'm going to be shocking turn... I guess to, to go wander into Dryad, I have to shock turn three for just what we have right now. Yeah, I don't, I don't have untapped lands for turn two and turn three, no matter how I do it. GG's there, Zesty, Zaki. Good games. So I want to be able to block both of them, like where it's hard for them to use a removal spell on both of them. Basically, I cast Banishing Light instead of Myers Grasp because it uses my mana better. But I guess Banishing Light would get rid of Ember Cleave, so maybe that was a mistake because of Ember Cleave. Sweet. Get this extra dead weight. Maybe spinners. Um, I'm thinking like to spark Helad's intervention basically because of Embercleave. Like I'm pretty scared of of Embercleave. Absolution's good, but it just kind of costs too much mana. What do I think of Destiny Spinner? Maybe, maybe not. Would I rather have Spinner or Wolf Willow Haven? I guess I'd rather have Spinner, right? Hmm. All right, so now last cut. Yeah, if I just play one Elspeth Conqueror's Death, do I want a Return to Nature, a Willow Haven? Let's play like, yeah, let's play like one Wolf Willow Haven. All right, here we go. I could see, I mean, sometimes Rakdos players play, um, like I definitely see them playing the 4-4. The I mean, I'm like getting worse with card names for some reason right now. The 4-4 that 
can cost three. I'm kind of expecting to banishing light or to to spark that thing. Spawn of mayhem, yeah. So they could have spawn of mayhem. They could have rankle. Yeah, spawn of mayhem is one that it's not abnormal to see at all. Well, it's hard to beat turn one night, turn two fervent champion drill bit. We'll see if we can do that. Well, because I need a Fable Passage for planes, and so if I Fable Passage for planes turn one, then I have to shock turn two, and basically I don't want to shock. I couldn't play Setessen Champion. Yes, I would have played that over the Destiny Spinner, but I, could, I had two mana. Failed Passage didn't... You know, like, that doesn't give you... I only had two mana. I couldn't play a three drop. Nessian, Nessian Wander is good. Okay, hopefully no Ember Cleave. I got no Ember Cleave so far. Ouch, that really hurts. Oh, that was a really good draw. I was definitely relying on that bringing stuff back. Ouch. Still work out pretty fine though. We're still good. I think I need to be worried about, you know, Rotting Registrar Ember Cleave, which is why I'm putting it on the Rotting Registrar. Oh, come on. Okay, never mind. 
Ah, uh, they did draw Ember Cleave. All right, I need to take this call real quick from about the house stuff. I need to take it real quick. All right, it's yep, it's official. Everything is good to go. I'm got the house and everything. My mortgage person is picking up keys. And that's it. <clears throat> so yeah, I probably I I don't know if I should have used the that sweeper already that shattered the sky maybe I should have waited I, just, I didn't like how they were gaining life with the the lifelink creature with the castle lock twain that was the main reason why I used it to try to get rid of that but obviously I'm just dead now this castle lock twain defeated me that and us drawing those lands all those turns in a row I really thought we were going to be winning that game alright I guess I don't have enough I guess I don't have enough stuff for Embercleave. See, I have one, five, six, seven. So I have seven Embercleave removal spells. I guess that's not enough. Let's get an another Elspeth Conqueror's Death in here. Them killing that Nightmare Shepherd, that was a huge thing too. Well, so that, like that's that's the reason why I had to wipe is because they were just going to be gaining six life with the castle, and that's just really rough. No, it wasn't difficult doing the closing in a different state. No, it wasn't. You're talking about Assassin's Trophy? Uh, I don't like giving my opponent lands. I 
like to spark more. It exiles also for like Cavalier of Dawn, which is important. Don't have double black to be able to play Hateful Eidolon and Deadweight in the same turn. Uh, so obviously I could have still played the Deadweight right now, but I want to play Archon plus Deadweight. Hey, bonjour. Darn. Looking great. Keep clearing out these lands. Awesome. All right, we're at three now. Yeah, Deckmaster still just hasn't been updated with the new set yet. And this deck has lots and lots of cards from the new set. So I, I think like our mana base has been working pretty well too, even though we don't have the temples. I think it's been working pretty fine. So I need black mana and white mana. So I need Goblet Shrine. Take her tash. Not, yeah, I don't like this sound bug. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Is my opponent, like, bugged out of the match or something? What's going on there? All right, so what should I sideboard against bugged out of the match? And auto-concede. How do we sideboard against that? Probably want to bring in... 
Like, what are they doing if they're... What kind of deck would get bugged out of the match? Hmm. It's hard to guess. It's hard to guess. I guess I'll just keep the same. Sometimes I'll, like, sideboard if they, like, you know, like, mold a four and don't do anything. Like, you can kind of guess that they're, like, a really low light land deck that just didn't have lands. You can, like, sideboard against Astro. I didn't see if they mulliganed a bunch and then just conceded. <laughs> With that sound, thought distortion 100%. Yeah, Beast, Beast said Teamer Reclamation. I don't know. They, it could be a Teamer Reclamation deck. All right, no, looking like Simic Ramp. All right, we're going to try to go way over the top with double champion Wanderer. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Rise, my elemental friend. Hmm. So I could just play a champion, or I could go Willful O'Haven champion. If I just play champion, I should probably do the Will Fuller Haven. Anatran, tier three sub. That is amazing. Thank you so much there, Anatran. Ooh. We're gonna have a pretty good turn next turn. I could have killed that Risen Reef. Behold, nature's true power. Worried about a Hydra Crisis. There we go. That's a good one. Get rid of that Nissa. Could get rid of Cavalier of Thorns also, then attack Nissa. Hmm. Now that this isn't a counter spell deck, I'm not worried about counter spells. I should just take Nessa. 
Fortunately, only shock lands. We gotta just keep shocking. That was a great turn for us. Let's see if we can keep it going. Clearing up these lands. Leafkin taps for two mana, so getting rid of Leafkin. Magic Man by Heart. So obviously I could play the other set test and champion, but I kind of already have too many cards. I wanted to see if I would draw I wanted to see if I would draw another Dryad where I could play another land, but I guess I would have just drawn a couple cards. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean too many cards? How can you have too many cards? I think if I would have had uh, Nessie and Wander Wanderer also in play this whole time, it would have been so many cards. Okay, let's see. Let's play this land. Let's play this land. Let's crack get another land out of the deck. Okay, so start with this. Oh, wow. Okay, they did have a counter spell. All right, well, I guess I could have played Destiny Spinner first. And that's lethal. Oh, right, they didn't play anything the, the first game. Because they just mold to Oblivion and didn't do anything. So that means we are 4 and 0. Oh. On to the final boss. Let's get this 5 win league. Yeah, it's just. Just all gas with Satessan Champion. Yeah, this is a good deck. Yeah, this is a good deck. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm changing states also. This is this is the Final Fantasy VII boss fight, but this 
This was the version done by Daniel Tidwell, and it's those who fight further. If you want to see my final boss playlist, it's just exclamation point boss playlist. That's the link to it. I don't know why the link's all weird. Uh, Blue Eye Control. Blue Eye Control is the final boss. We got all these dead cards against Blue Eye Control. I'll try not to show them the Castle Iron Veil. I don't want them to blow up the Castle Iron Veil. Why not one or two of the white enchantment that makes a creature fly? I guess it's probably just not... I mean, it's just not as, as powerful as the other stuff in the deck. Okay, so let's get these Remorses, Thought Distortion, Spinner. Maybe a Shatter the Sky to destroy Dream Trawler. Whoops. I don't really need, like, any of this stuff. So that's 56. The Flyer had Hexproof. The, the, none of the cards in my hand did anything. What do we want to play? Dispark, Noxious Grasp, Hateful Eidolon, probably the most useful cards. I'll play the Noxious Grasp and a couple of Hateful Eidolons. Oh, what's Ethereal Absolution doing in my deck? That That's also not a good card. <laughs> Ugh. I have many good cards. I don't want to draw Ethereal Absolution. I should have taken... I should have sideboarded that out. That card doesn't do anything. to life for basically no reason. Really like black mana and be able to play Shepard this next turn. Get underneath Shadow of the Sky. This will turn, you know, I'll have black mana now, but I do need to draw another land. Looks like my opponent shocked in to have, like, Absorb available, but Destiny Spinner 
Shut that down. Gotta hope they don't have Shadow to the Sky. Let me give me one more turn. Let me have Nightmare Shepherd. You know, hopefully they I can get Nightmare Shepherd in play. I honestly don't have a, a favorite MTG artist, honestly. Well, sweet life. They have not learned what Destiny Spinner does, I don't think. It's really, it's really unfortunate. Just gotta hope they don't have another sweeper. Uh, interesting technique. Hone your prowess. Looks like they were trying to set up a counter spell. So I don't want to play Calyx because of the likely counter spell. Stand by and watch. There goes nothing. to destiny. Look skyward and receive the gifts of the this gods. This game did not go our way. Draw Overgrown Tomb. Put all four of those cards down to the bottom. At least we can shuffle them back, I guess. It's like, you know, draw Overgrown Tomb, put put four good spells down to the bottom, draw another land. Yuck. Yeah, that's so that's that's my only plan is just poking them to death with one ones. Hoping at Castle Arnvale. I'll protect you. 
can do that. Well, I don't I don't have any sacrifice effects in the deck, so obviously sacrifice effects are better than a board wipe against Dream Chawler. Like that's not that's not even a question. But I I'm playing with what I have access to. Had it all. All right, so we uh, picked up a loss. We have one more, uh, one more chance at the final boss. So here we go, final boss part two. Final boss part two. It's a good looking hand. Got here that's you know I hope they don't have any more of those. Eidolon. Exerbs. Thanks to the tier one sub. Was that sub number four on the day? All right, so leading with the Archon because it's a flyer, so it can pressure Nissa. Never mind. Never mind about that. Yeah, I'm bleeding black. Getting the tier three resub in. Thank you, bleeding black. So yeah, we have Anatran, Bleeding Black, both of you. Again, you know, with the Tier 3 resubs, you got donation decks that you want me to play. You just let me know. Tier 3 subs come along with a free donation deck. Behold, nature's true power.
All right, Elspeth conquers death. Grasp. Dispark. Do I want Shatter the Sky? Unclear. Get that thing out of here. Hmm. And do I want to play Agonizing Remorse? Kind of do. Can't just take out all of my enchantments, though. Okay. It's my last card I want to cut. The Calyx. A Deadweight Myers Grasp for Hateful Eidolon. Guess the Calyx. Okay, this could do it. Just you know, like we had before, double champion can go crazy. It's it's basically how good their hand is. If their hand is really good and, and ramps really fast, you know, like I'm I'm not gonna have interaction for a little while. So I hope that's not the case with their hands. Gonna grab Swamp. Looks like I'm probably just going to play the Dryad. Ooh, never mind. Now next turn I can play Dryad, Double Land, Banishing Light. Oh my gosh. Wow, what a killer. Talk about something I was not expecting whatsoever. Wow. I was not expecting that. They played Storm's Wrath to clear up their three mana creatures, but it got rid of my double set test and champion.
I mean, is it. Do I just take Krasis? Should have played around Storm's Wrath. I don't know. It's kind of improbable for them to have it. In a deck filled with mana creatures. So we've not done a good job seeing like we our top four cards, we have three spells and one land, and we just draw the land for turn and then put the spells down to the bottom. It's not not optimal drawing. Need to draw spells. And then have Wanderer get a land. They're doing a good job drawing spells, though. Drawing Risen Reef into Cavalier of Thorns. Risen Reef put a land into play. Cavalier of Thorns puts a land into play. They're doing... See, there we go. Draw spell. And then grab land. There we go. That's a lot better. That's what we need to do. So I don't think we beat this Hydro Crisis in hand. But we had a good turn this last turn. Man, that Storm's Wrath, what a killer. I'm moving in two weeks. The week after next. Shadows fall. Let's get in the tier one sub. Sweet. I'll take that trade. You know, let's them cast Uro again, but that's fine. And Cobb with Twitch Prime Sub. Thank you, Cobb.
Well, I could pretty safely say that if we would have had our set tests and champions, we would have ran away with this game very easily. That Storm's Wrath was just absolutely perfect. Need to draw like another agonizing remorse would be really nice to take this crisis from hand. If they just have five spells in hand though, they're probably all great. Whenever you get to this point of the game, we're not, you know, that not really went in. They're still at 20 life. That was one of my best draw steps. That was probably my probably my best draw step. That was a good turn. Got rid of the 3-3 three, three and... Oh, I'll do it. And got rid of the Thassa. Thanks to the tier one sub there, Chainsmokers. I appreciate that. Best stream ever. Aw. That's very nice. Final boss, too powerful. Too powerful. All right, so we went four and two. Yeah, dis so Dispark exiles Thassa. And so that's why it gets rid of Thassa. 
Um, for the most part, though, I really I liked the list. I think that Abzan is probably like the the way to go. Um, can we see playing some more Calyx? You know, Mayo should, should not have taken out Calyx that that matchup. Probably should not have taken out Calyx that matchup. I don't know. I wasn't really expecting those Storm's Wraths, but the Storm's Wraths got me really good. I should have boarded out Archon instead of Calyx. Um, but yeah, th I think our, our worst card in our deck was definitely Ethereal Absolution. Uh, I think this is just too slow for Standard. It's good against Cauldron Familiar. It's very good against Cauldron Familiar, but that's kind of about it. It's you know too slow against the other aggro decks. The other, like the other decks just go over the top of it. I mean, maybe if I would have had it there, my creatures don't die to Storm's Wrath. I guess. I don't know. I needed obviously I needed the Setessen Champions. Like we would have been just fine if it wasn't for that first Storm's Wrath killing the Setessen Champions. Um. But uh, there we go. All right, so that's Abzan uh, Enchantments. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, leave those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.